show until tomorrow morning. This morning, head coaches from around the league were available at breakfast. And according to Colts head coach Frank Reich, Andrew Luck is throwing a football again uh, in his rehab from that shoulder surgery and is expected to rejoin the team when it begins their offseason conditioning program on April 9th. Here's the head coach. Yeah, I think he's doing well. I think he's continuing to progress the way that uh, he expected and that we all expected and is on course, uh, you know, exactly where we want him to be at this point. He's feeling good. He's working really hard and diligent, not skipping a step to get his body back to where it needs to be. Um, he's currently still working on the throw motion stuff that he's working at, really tying his lower body into his upper body. I think when you watch tape of him in the past, he played with a big wide base. Um, and the guys he's working with right now are doing a nice job really retraining him and using his lower body um, to take some stress off his shoulder, which I think if we just look at the history of the league, a lot of, a lot of quarterbacks have done that. We will ease him back in. He's going to be with the team April 9th. We're planning on him being part of the team and going through activities. But we just don't know how extensive those we activities will be. We don't know how be. extensive it'll be right now. Will any of those activities include throwing? Yeah. Well, certainly there is no reason to discount any of that, and we, we hope and believe Andrew Luck is, is taking the right steps. But there have been setbacks along the way. We yeah. know that. This is taking quite a bit longer than anyone anticipated, at least initially. So, Matt, I'll start with you. As you watch him before, what are the expectations now, given where we were? And where we've been. Well, it's nice to hear that he's going to be throwing. A year ago from today, we weren't saying that. And, you know, I think everyone knows the kind of player that Andrew Luck has been. You know, his first three years going to the Pro Bowl, leading his team to the playoffs each year, and then even to the AFC Championship game. But he wasn't healthy after a stretch because they weren't protecting him. So even if Andrew Luck comes back healthy, they got to figure out all their other issues. And, yes, they are rebuilding times there was no protection other times there was enough protection guys would be open and Andrew Luck didn't play like the Andrew Luck that we saw those first three years because that's what happens as a quarterback sometimes you know sometimes it's on them and then you get gun shy a little bit you're not as accurate as you once were these are three plays in a row from the game in 2016 the last season that we saw Andrew play and having been a teammate of him I know how good this guy is I know how accurate this guy is and what I see on film from that season was a guy that was just taking a beating and probably wasn't healthy. So if he does come back healthy, that's awesome. But everyone else has to fix the other stuff as well. This team's going to get back to winning division titles. There's no question, Tim, that they needed to protect him in the first place. But now more than ever, he's got to stay upright. He does. But I think that everyone should be really encouraged by this situation. Matthew referenced a year ago him not throwing. Listen, it was just a month ago where Chris Ballard, the general manager, was talking about Hey, look, he's, he's doing throwing motion stuff, but he was very quick to point out that he wasn't throwing a football. I think that we're past that now, and, and you know, it's been a long time. It's not like he had a surgery and then had to have another surgery. He had a surgery, and he's been able to get better and start throwing without another surgery. I think that's great news if you're a Colts fan, and truthfully, it's good for the league to have a guy who is one of the brightest young stars coming out of college be healthy and be able to be, able, be ready to play a season. And I just saw him recently. I mean, he looks great. You know, he's big, strong, physical. He looks like he's been working out. So that's also a good sign. And again, the hope there, as you heard them say, the expectation anyways, that he'll be available when the off-season conditioning program begins. That's coming up on 